What a WWE Monday Night Raw that was last night, guys. And today, this is going to be Matt's WWE Monday Night Raw from last night's show. 2 slash 20 slash 2017. So here we go. We kick off Raw with the WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens talking about Goldberg. He kept talking about Goldberg a lot on the microphone. And then right after that, he was about to talk about Y2J Chris Jericho. But then next, he drops the microphone and gets up out of the chair. And that's what he did. And then next, we have is match number one of the night. And it was Enzo Amaro in Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus. And the number one contenders to face Luke Gallon Collinson for the Raw Tag Team Championship at Bassline March 5th. And the and before the match started, we saw Enzo Amore grabbing a fan sign, which that was pretty funny. He was saying this. What do we got over here? A cup of haters. A cup of haters, which that was pretty funny. I really enjoyed that part. He grabbed a fan sign. I enjoyed it. And then that match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. And and they won. Enzo Moore and Big Cass were the number one contenders. And Enzo Moore was on the microphone. And the next, right after that, he says this to... We are the new number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Champion, Enzo says. And then he says, you just got chicken out and switch chicken man, switch chicken man, Enzo Amaro was saying. So that was pretty funny. I was really laughing. I, I couldn't really tell what he was saying. So it was pretty, really funny. Guys, I really enjoyed it. And then we had the Cruiserweights. And it was... I'm there with the plan. The Brian Kendrick coming out all angry and stuff like that. He was coming out like this and stuff. And then he was being all angry. And then, of course, that one person, Tyro Tawazi, whatever. I, I don't know his name. I don't watch 205 Live, guys. But I'm starting to get into the cruiserweights a little bit. So... So then the, the referee was telling them to, to shake hands like this, shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. But then the Brian, but then that guy didn't want to, so then guess what? The Brian Kibber just beats him up and attacks him, and that's all he just does in the ring. He just attacks him and then choked him, and then that was it. And the Brian Kendrick was all upset. And now we have match number two. It is the Raw Tag Team Champions. Luke Gallon, Colin Anderson versus Roman Reigns in a two-on-one handicap match. Well, during the match, Luke Gallows grabbed a steel chair, and the next he brought it into the ring, and then he and then Roman Reigns picked it up, and then he hit Luke Gallows with it, and then Colin Anderson, and then then Luke Gallows is trying to beat up Roman Reigns, and then. Right after that, Roman Reigns did a Superman punch. And then, guess what? This is way shocking. I saw what happened to Carl Anderson. He went on top of the turnbuckle. And then he got a spear from Roman Reigns from on top of the thing. I was like, OMG, like that. I was, like, shocked about that. I was so amazed. That was incredible, guys. I was so amazed about that part. And now we have... Match number three of the night before it started was The New Day versus Rusev and Ginger Mahal. And before that match started, they were talking on the microphone about the ice cream and their stuff to Lana and stuff on the, on the thing, whatever, a tablet or something. I don't know what it was that Lena had. And then, of course, the match started. And then here's what happened during the match. Xavier Woods, he um he blows that Francesco Trump the horn, and then of course he blows right into Lana's 
ear. And then next, this was really funny. He grabs the tablet. The next, he breaks onto the steel stairs. And then right after that, he he snaps right in half in front of her. So then the so then their ice cream plan they still have it and it backfired the thing for them. So that was pretty funny. I really enjoyed it. And the new day won. New day rocks. They won. So I really enjoyed that match. And now we have the segment in the ring, and it was Neville and Jack Gallows contract sign. Well. Before Neville came out, Austin Aries was in the ring saying, Our number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, Jack Galler. And then Jack Galler says this about becoming the Cruiserweight Champion, of course. He talks about that and stuff. And then, of course, he, he signs a contract, he says. And that's what he does. And then, of course, out comes A. Hey, Neville, of course. He comes out and then... Next, what he does, he he just signs a contract, and the next, Jack Gallagher was saying this, we have some biscuits and, and a cup of tea to share a couple, and then, of course, Neville goes back into the ring, and then he starts to say some stuff to Jack Gallagher and stuff like that, and then Jack Gallagher says something back, and then I read after that, Neville f flips over the table and anger in the next. Jack Geller headbutts Neville like that. And then next, they, they have, to have a brawl and stuff. And then next, they headbutt. And then next, after that, and Neville's outside of the ring. And then then, then Neville's trying to go back because you sit down in the chair. Jack Geller was sitting down in the chair. And then right after that, ne Jack Geller grabs the, um, whatchamacallit, the black umbrella. Then he stops him and stuff like that. So that was pretty good. I like the bad contract part. And now we have um, match number four of the night. And it is Nia Jax versus this some person, Sarah Parit or something. I really don't know her. So she she got beat quickly in the Nia Jax right after the match. The, the, the one lady was on the microphone, then she tells Nia Jax about her match, and then, of course, she says she wants to go after Bailey's belt, but then, of course, she says stuff about Bailey, and, of course, and some other stuff. And then, of course, before match number five started, we had, hey, we want some Bailey. Yup, Bailey addresses Charlotte Flair. Demands. So here we go with this. Bailey was talking about you deserve all the fans. And then Bailey talked about the she always wanted to be Raw Women's Champion and stuff like that. And then, of course, she always says her dad and the other people and my we my her dad and her did it and stuff like that. She was saying and everything. And then, of course, out comes Stephanie Bittman, the commissioner of Monday Night Raw. She comes out, and then she interrupts her, and then she says, you you, you cheated last Monday with Sasha Banks. Last Monday, she kept saying, force up that title right now, she was telling Bailey. And then, of course, out comes Sasha Banks, and then, of course, she tells her, like, you know, she is like a sister to her, she was saying, and stuff like that. And then Stephen Man said, Hand for us over the belt. And then, of course, guess what? Bailey says, No, I will not hand over the belt like that to her. And then, of course, she hugged Sasha and she said, I, the WWE Universe deserved it, and I deserved it, and I won it fair and square. She said, I pinned Charlotte right in the middle of that ring, Bailey says. And then she hugged Sasha Banks. And that was pretty funny. And then, and then after that, Charlotte Flair would come down, and then she says, Miss, Miss Bitman, I am so sorry for all the complicated and stuff like that. I be... Sasha a lot, Charlotte Flair was saying. And then, of course, then after that, Sasha Banks 
and Sean Max have a match, and then Stevie Man says they have a match right now. That match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. And plus, during the match, Dana Brooks starts coming out, and then a Bailey attacks her, and that's and then Sasha Banks won with that tap out on Charlotte Flair like this. Charlotte Flair tapped out, so that was pretty good. Now we have match number six of the night, and it is the WWE Universal Champion. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Now, before this match happened, WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens comes out first, and the next, out comes Sami Zayn, and then, of course, out comes Simone Joe. Then he attacks Sami Zayn from behind. Then, of course, he really attacks him and beats him up and stuff like that. And then next, he, then the referees try to stop. Simone Joe from beating him up, and then of course, Sami Zayn was just wearing his T-shirt, and they put him back into the ring, and they put him back into the ring like the the, the Simone Joe puts him back into the ring, and then Kevin was like smiling about it, and then of course, Kevin starts be be beating up Sami Zayn, and then the match started, and then Kevin Owens go for the pop up power bomb, and then. Of course, he goes for the one, two, three, and he won his match. And now, here we go. We have our main event of the night. It is the World's Authors Athlete Big Show versus Braun Strowman. And that match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it, and... Braun Strowman won. I want to see Big Show win, but Braun Strowman won. And, of course, he just sent Big Show for the win. And then, of course, after the match, Roman Reigns gets Roman Reigns. Superman punches Braun Strowman twice. But then the third one, it backfire. And then Braun Strowman does a kick to him. And then, of course, he picks him up. And then he slams him onto the ring mat. And then... He just looks at him and stuff like that, and then what a way, and he looks at the screen, like the TV, and then he leaves to the entrance ramp, of course, and then what a way to end WWE Monday Night Raw. So what a Monday Night Raw that was last night, guys. It was a good Monday Night Raw. I really enjoyed it, and plus, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe, and peace out. See you guys. See ya.